Good morning, everyone. This is Trees of Blowing. Well, it's a rainy day here in Michigan, so I thought I would uh, do a little reloading video on you. It's going to be in two parts. I tried to get it in one part, but it's just going to be a little too long. So we'll do it in two parts. Loading the 9mm. Hope you enjoy it. I'm just going to do a little bit of a reloading video. First thing I do is get all my cases prepared, cleaned, inspected for cracks, bulges, anything like that. Now I use a RCBS rock chucker. I've been using this press since 1976 when I got into reloading. Today I'm going to be reloading 9mm. So I've got my die. I've already got it set. This is a resizing die. What it does is resize the case, knocks out the spent primer into the spent primer tray. I've already done some of these, but I've left five of them for this video. And I use carbide dies. That way they don't require any lube. You get the old style dies where then you got to lube each case. Otherwise you get one stuck and there's nothing any harder than getting a stuck case out of a press. Anybody that's done any reloading will certainly tell you that. So I'm just going to do five out of a tray because like I said I've already done most of them for time's sake. I'm sure you don't want to sit here. This is a single stage press. I don't use a progressive. I can knock out a couple hundred rounds and hour, hour and 15 minutes if I don't take any breaks or anything. So all my cases are set up. They're all sized. Now I want to bell them. So I'll take this die out. Now I'll put in my belling die. What this does it flares the mouth of the case so it'll receive the bullet a lot easier. I have the nut preset so I know exactly where it's at. I sort of cinch it in. The belling tool or the belling uh, plug has already been adjusted and locked in. I forgot to get one thing out here. What I'm going to be loading these up is a 125 grain Coyote cast bullet. So I want to put it in, run it all the way down to the bottom of the stroke, pull the case out, and just start the bullet in there. As you can see, it starts in there freely. And I always turn the cases up, that way I know that one's been done. I have this little system that I've been using since 76 that works for me. Because in the next station I'll be priming them, and then of course they'll be face down so I can see the new primer. So I check them periodically to make sure that the belling die is doing the job. and. As the case grows a lot of times, you'll get more belly, so it's important to keep track of the length of your brass, and if it needs to be trimmed, of course, you need to trim it. Okay, now we've got the belly part all that all done. As you can see, I have vinyl gloves on. You might ask why. Well, it's to protect the primer. If I have to pick one up with my hands to keep from contaminating it, and of course the lead bullets. I should have had them on earlier and I didn't do it. So, safety first. And when you get into, uh, I use Federal Small Pistols for my 9mm or CCI 500s. They come boxed, 100 to a tray. And this is where I may have to handle a couple of them. Yeah. 
usually what happens with these. Now the CCI just lays right down in there where you don't have that problem. You just kind of jiggle them around. Primer tube holder. I'll sit there and pick them all up. The ones that are facing upwards because I want them facing upwards. I don't know if you can see this real well or not. Now we got that. Now we put the tray on it, flip it over. As you can see, they're all facing upwards. I think this tube holds roughly 75 primers, thereabouts. It's a little bit slow. I mean, if you have a progressive, I mean, they work good, but I've heard some horror stories on progressives about overcharging with your powder on them. We get into charging, I'll uh, go over that a little bit more with you. Okay, for the sake of this video, that's close enough for now. So I'm going to move my tray over here to my priming tool. And hang on just a minute while I move the camera. Okay, we're here at the priming station. Pull the plug out. I put the little plug in here and the primer seater. This is for the small primers. I need my shell holder here. Shell holder in. Then you just bring it down, drop the handle. got a new primer seated. This used to have a spring on it, but I lost it years ago, where it used to automatically pivot forward and back with the stroke of the handle, but I've just never gotten one. It just never deemed it really necessary. go through and do this with all 200 grounds and we get into charging them and seeding the bullet. It's a little bit slower process and like when I originally bought the press it had the priming arm right on it all you had to do is stick the tube in there and do it but I don't know if it got wore out or it just got broke but it ain't there and I like this a little bit better because I can actually feel the primer seating it to the pocket. 